Malnutrition is the leading cause of death and disability on planet Earth today. Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski. Welcome to MoveNet Principle One Continued, Eat Right and Drink Right. As we mentioned, our food is terrible today. The soil is depleted, we use genetically modified seed, we use tons and tons of herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, and then we process foods. Michael Pollan in his book summarized nutrition very effectively. He said, eat food, not too much, mostly plants. Jack Lane's timeless quote was, if God made it, it's okay. If man made it, don't touch it. The Journal of the American Medical Association in 2002 published an article about how to improve nutrition status. Number one, people could be counseled on diet. I discussed that in the last video. Number two, we could use fortified foods. I attended a nutrition lecture nearly 30 years ago. A doctor got up there and talked about fortified foods. Now, I was in Wisconsin at the time, and it was a very cold day, probably negative three degrees Fahrenheit. And this doctor suggested that eating fortified foods was the equivalent of taking somebody outside, essentially taking away all their clothes, things that would protect them and keep them healthy, and maybe giving them their socks back. Well, this is a pretty good representation of what most fortified foods are. However, there are going to be a few exceptions. I will admit I eat some fortified foods. I do eat some raw organic bars that have been fortified with different vitamins and minerals. I like to say that this is a better bad choice. One fortified food that I think is a phenomenal choice is the category of medical foods. Medical foods are actually defined by the FDA and approved by the FDA. They have four different criteria. Number one, they have to have guaranteed potency. What it says on the label is on the label. Now you might think that's a given, but Consumer Labs did a report a few years ago that went to health food stores, pulled 21 brands off the shelf, and only 10 of 21 met label claim. They have to have guaranteed purity. No contaminants, no microbials, no heavy metals. So many of these substances at health food stores are loaded with heavy metals, things like lead and cadmium and mercury. Next, they have to have proven effectiveness in human clinical trial. They were not studied in dogs, cats, goats, guinea pigs, but human beings. And last, every nutrient must be recognized as safe. Safety first in all ventures. A study was published a few years ago that compared the effects of the Mediterranean diet, a very good diet on metabolic syndrome, compared to other people that had Mediterranean diet with a fortified medical food for metabolic syndrome. The results were astounding. Yes, the Mediterranean diet worked effectively, but the Mediterranean diet plus the medical food was twice as effective. Medical foods are a staple of my practice. Most commonly when people come in and I want to jumpstart their system, I put them on a one week intense medical food program with only medical foods and organic vegetables. This is a phenomenal way to jumpstart the system and we'll talk more about this in future blogs. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, wishing you health, happiness, and success always.